students today we are going to study a very important topic which is digestive system as we all know that we all eat different kind of food for example fruits vegetables cereals and they are of different textures and so what happens in our mouth we have teeth we have various organs so that they are crushed and changed into such a form so that they can be easily absorbed by the body which will give us lots of energy and that is the main aim of digestive system you can write the definition which is given below that is digestion is a process in which the food is changed into the soluble form which is easily absorbed by our body now we are going to study about a first part of the elementary canal that is the mouth mouth has basically three important things firstly about the teeth we all know children that teeth they have of so many types in human beings and they perform so many type of functions for example crushing the food grinding the food chewing the food and so we all must take proper care of our teeth you must have seen few people they have yellow color teeth that is because of the deposition of black and many people they have pain in their teeth they have cavities because they have not brushed their teeth twice in a day especially during night because night is the time when the bacteria they sit on the food try to eat them and they produce lots of acid which destroys the upper layer of the teeth in our and causes pain whenever we eat anything and so my dear children we should always brush our teeth with a good toothpaste because this toothpaste is alkaline in nature and it neutralizes the acids which are produced by the bacteria and the next part children which we are going to study is about the tongue tongue has many small dots which are taste buds which are connected by nerves and which help us to taste the food whether the food is sweet sour bitter all we can taste because of our tongue next part are the salivary glands salivary glands they produce saliva you all must have experienced children when mama is cooking something in the kitchen and you just smell it and then your mouth waters it is filled with a liquid and that very liquid is saliva it has a very important enzyme enzymes enzymes are bio catalyst in mouth they turn the complex carbohydrates into simple 
sugars. There are many slivery glands in our mouth and they produce a very important enzyme which is known as slivery aminase. One very important question which often come in your exams is that that when we eat raw chapati or some rice and we chew it for some time then after some time we feel it is sweet in nature and sweet in taste because the complex carbohydrates now they have changed to simple carbohydrates with the help of slivery amylase an enzyme a bio Now the next organ in which the food goes is a long pipe which is known as esophagus. Now children, it is not just a long pipe and the food is not like a ball from as it is moving from one end to the another but it moves by a very important process which is known as peristaltic movement. Peristaltic movement means that the muscles they contract and then they relax as the food is moving they contract and then they again relax and this is important because we are sleeping sometimes we are doing some exercises and we are upside down and very important if some person has gone to space then also digestion will take place. That means digestion does not depend upon gravity. And the food, when it is passing through the long elementary canal, it passes with the help of this very important process which is known as peristaltic The tissue layers that form the walls of the tube include two layers of smooth muscle. The contraction and relaxation of these muscles is called peristalsis. One peristaltic wave can be enough to move a bolus down the esophagus and into the stomach. In the intestines, the waves are smaller and more regular. As one section of the intestine contracts, the section in front relaxes. This occurs in the rhythmic, wave-like patterns that create the peristalsis that propels substances forward 